Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll make a test for a Cinema 4D project with Redshift Renderer. This project will be rendered on a 2 RTX 4090 server at iRender, and see how great it is. Let's get started. First, go to a render's homepage and log into your personal account. On the iRender console, we select a server type and create a new image. We choose GPU server for S with two GPUs RTX 4090, then boot the server image. It may take 5 to 15 minutes once the image is booted successfully. In the meantime, we're going to upload files to iRender server by using iRender Drive. Log into iRender Drive by entering your iRender credentials, and upload the files by dragging and drop to Z Drive. You are allowed to use Z Drive to upload and download the files. After performing the boot step, click the connect button. You will be asked to download an RDP file. Enter your credentials to connect to the remote server. We're on the remote server. First, let's check the machine configuration. Then, you can copy the software that you want on X Drive to C Drive and then install it. Here, we will install Cinema 4D and Redshift, and we also install the iRender license management to use Redshift with the license. Copy the project just uploaded from Z Drive to the desktop or anywhere you want in C Drive. Open iRender License Management and log in by entering your credentials. Open the C4D file and start rendering. As you see, it took 9 minutes and 9 seconds to render 5 frames. This server is as efficient as the 5 RTX 3090. The next step is to copy the result files to Z Drive. Remember, log out of the iRender license management before shutting down the remote server. Then, we go back to the iRender console and click the shutdown button to turn off the remote server. The final step is just to open iRender Drive and download the result file's personal computer. We are happy to guide you on how to use the iRender services and show you the performance of rendering on multi-GPS. That is the end of the video today. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions please comment below. Also here are other videos that might interest you. Thank you for watching. iRender, happy rendering, happy training.